everyone back with more Sandman Soul Zero. So let's get to it. I'm excited to see what chapter 3 with Victoria Housekeeping will bring me to. Okay, first things first, let's clear some daily. Done. No, you were not right. I hope the one run of 60 is enough for this. Sweet. Officer one forty eight, do you end ready? Hey, sixty was enough. Okay. What's that? I'll need to run this twice then. Did you call? Officer one mission starts. Is it work done? Nothing to fear. The cunning heroes are here. Oh shit, I can't even call that. Confirmed. Go. This won't hurt. None 
Damn, this ain't serious. Oh, come on, how you not did get there? We go. Okay, so there's something for making the same for Mortal Kombat 7 this time, so I'm going to try with Travis. What the hell's family? Why this thing? E. Also, hi, why is it in the way out here? Well, really, feels getting up there in age, the motion building along the corruption is really harsh, but we're to give it a thorough examination. Still no gold. Hey, polyphrom so I'll take that. Okay, wait, which noodle? Whole oh, noodles. Ooh, only one left. Sure is. Okay, what I'm going to Come take a look. It's you true again, right? Yeah. Okay. Eh? Oh, it's a new event. Okay. Probably for um whoever's next chain thingy, I can't remember. Uh why are you two? Oh yeah, I didn't okay. Combat tank is in Okay, the ones are inflict a tribute anomaly on 200 times with fire agents. Ooh, that's gonna take a long time considering I only have like what? Ben is my only fire agent? Huh? There's something standing by. Time for some. Do you want to test my skills? Yeah, Ben's my only fire agent. I only have one ice agent as well. It's gonna take a while. Anyway, uh. Standing by. And Let's just go get this with the extra battery I got. Let's keep your eye 
now, that bastard. Too many enemies, I can't keep track of all of that one instead. Okay, let's give Andy that new upgrade. Oh, she ain't level 25 yet. Okay. Okay, I'll need to wait for my battery to recharge. By the meantime, I will go to Ballot Twins Road and continue on with the story. Hi, Lycon. Are you the Foxy Nuance Phaeton? Yep, that's me. Master Foxy, we at Victoria Housekeeping are honored to make your acquaintance. As a partner and esteemed guest of Victoria Housekeeping, we will make every effort to ensure your hollow journey is comfortable and safe. Thanks, you know what you sis. Rina is currently accompanying your companion, Eos. It has come to my attention that Master Eos is feeling uncomfortable in this moist environment. Yuna has kindly carried out a deep circuit massage to alleviate fatigue. You'll find him near the sunken courtyard. Corrin has been looking forward to meeting you ever since you saved her. If it's okay with you, could I convince you to stay and chat with her for a bit? Sure, I'd also like to meet Corrin. No, Corrin will be over the moon when she finds out. Is there anything else you would like to know? Actually, there is something. 
I'm at, I'm at your service, Master Foxy. Ask about communication protocols. You are our esteemed guest, Master Foxy. Our mission is to provide you with the comfort and relaxation of a home-like atmosphere. We need not feel any restraint or burden. Really? Of course. I have this urge to say something but think better of it. Um, this is only my personal suggestion, but I find any food dealer offers you. <laughs> Lol. Ask about their daily work. Are you inquiring as to the particulars of daily work at Victoria Housekeeping Co? The nature of our work is entirely dependent upon our clients' needs. Like our slogan says, your wish is our command. Should you need anything in the future, Victoria Housekeeping Co will continue to be at your service. I don't have any questions. Should you need it, Lycon is always at your disposal. Lycon. Okay, see you later, the tree. Wait, is this not close enough? Seriously? Seriously? Huh? Don't tell me you're faking. What? Is it that surprising? Well, a little. I expected to be working with someone who knew me. The sight of you makes me feel much better. Anyway, I'm Ellen. Victoria Housekeeping Co. is honored to be of service to you. Please, uh, please. Uh, I've forgotten the rest, but you get to the gist of it. The honor is mine. Well, if you have any questions, you can speak to the boss or Rena. They should be able to help you. Huh? You need anything else? I would like to continue our conversation. You wanna talk? Fine, but today's job was decided last minute, so my energy levels are a little low. Is it alright if I have some candy first? Why did you say my bank was strange? Ah, now I remember. When you introduced yourself to the tower, I just thought that bank would look a little different. But who knew it was possessed by a human? It made me sound like some kind of evil spirit. Now that makes it sound cool. You're pretty interesting, huh? Ellen, why are you working as a maid? What kind of question is that? Why can't I be a maid? Because you don't seem to be very enthusiastic. Oh, but looking unenthusiastic has nothing to do with being a maid, right? I'm always so full of energy. What do I do if I use up my energy at an important mission? What's with that look? Everything requires energy. That's common knowledge. You like sweets? It's only because they replenish my energy. As a tiny one to replenish it so much. Isn't that equivalent to liking it? Were you sleeping during biology classes? Even I know it's because of sugar. Basic nutrients. You know. Fine. I like it. It's all the same to me. Do you want one? Here. Don't forget to tell the boss that I served you well. Hello. I don't have anything else I want to talk about. Oh. Okay, let's go talk to Corin first. <clears throat> Invest. I mean, Master Proxy. It's great to finally meet you. Well, it's technically not the first time. It's great to meet you. Please, uh, don't be nervous, Corin. Ah, sorry, Invest. I mean, Master Proxy. It's great to meet you again today. I was practicing for this just now, but now look at me. Sorry, I'm not actually an investigator. No, Master Proxy, please don't say that. Now that I think about it, there was a misunderstanding on my part. You never said you were an investigator. I am a little curious though. Why would someone as capable as you want to become a proxy? It's a secret. Ah, I'm sorry, I think I asked something I shouldn't have. A anyway, I don't know how to thank you for saving me before. It really is an honor to work with you now. Is it okay if I keep talking with you? Sure. So, so what should we talk about? Is your work interesting? Um, is my work interesting? Hmm, I haven't really thought about it before. I'm thankful for my job and hope to become a maid who can work independently. But I keep making mistakes at work. The last time I worked on a job, I got lost in the hallway. But this time, I caused all this commotion when Mr. Lycon was just speaking. <coughs> Judging from the result, I say you helped a lot. That was nothing. I didn't do much, but now that you mention it, I don't feel so bad about everything now. Miss Rena often says that we need to be proactive when thinking about problems. As a maid, we should wear a smile regardless of the problems we encounter. Exactly, you've got this. Thank you, Master Proxy. Which teammate are you most compatible with? Huh? Mm, uh, that's a dangerous question. It's just like asking which parent would you save if, if they were both drowning, or would you rather send the tram left or right? I couldn't really tell you. Everyone at Victoria Housekeeping Co. is very important to me. Which team are you least compatible with? 
Ah, this question is scarier than the one you just asked. Do I have to give you an answer? Stop messing with her. Let's leave it here for now. I'm happy to have had this chance to talk with you, Master Proxy. Look after me when you're in the hollow. Irina. I'm presuming you're the guide. It's nice to meet you. I'm Alexandrina Sebastian, but you can call me Rina. Well, Rina called Eus Master Eus. Eh, <laughs> that's right. Rina has never met a legendary bang fool like Master Eus that can sync up with the guide and travel to and from the hollows. They are very knowledgeable and I am pretty good shape after all these years of service. I'm impressed. Yep, Master Eus is amazing. Didn't I praise Eus enough before? Yes, I know. It's actually all thanks to Bell. Dear guide, I'm fully touched that you and your brother gave you such a warm home after the loss's master. How do you know? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I was just really moved by how much Master Eus cares about you two and couldn't help but share my feelings. I hope you don't mind. It feels like it seems like Rina has tricked me into saying something. Okay, please don't worry, dear guide. Your companion Eos is a loyal friend. I think there's more to you than meets the eye, but Master Eos has never thought so or to view your secrets. After talking with Eos, I'm convinced that Phaeton is an excellent business partner. I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you, Eos. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about? Talk more. It's up to you. About your work. As you can see, I'm a maid. It's an interesting profession that grants easy access to the behind-the-scenes view of glamorous lives. Young politicians in charge of important cases would use internal information to get rich and elevate their social position. After all, who better to confide in than a diligent housemaid who keeps her mouth shut, right? Would a long skirt get in the way of work? Thank you very much for your consideration. When I was learning about meat etiquette from my head mother, I was fashioning this outfit. I am used to wearing it now. Also, it's great for storage. For example, a dessert that will bring a smile to your face. Would you like to try some vanilla cream scones? Don't mind if I do. Help yourself. Aha, some memories resurface. It's an indescribable way for deep-seated doubt, fear, and regret. This is where that crushes your fragile nerves. Ah, uh, wait, what just happened? Logic just, just suggests you shouldn't try to. What's wrong, my dear guide? Let's stop here for now. There's no need to be so formal. I'll be here with Master Eus, so feel free to count on me anytime. We will repair you soon after. Ah, uh, Master Eus looks to be in good shape. Looks like we can go to Valley Twins as planned. Talking with you for the rest of our journey, Master Guide. So she uses her long skirt as a. Oh, interesting. At this moment, the phone starts ringing. How are things, Val? Have you met up with Victoria Housekeeping yet? <clears throat> we just met up. Good timing. Yeah, I just met everyone. Sounds like you're getting along fine with everyone. That's good. We need to find Rain as soon as possible. You should hurry back and get ready for the hollow. Try and talk to life on again. Okay, nothing new. Really, I can't teleport. Sucks. At this moment in the Janus portal, on the helipad at the top of the public security building. Andy and the others are so slow. <clears throat> if they mess up now, the media will sensationalize it. Ah, they're coming out, they're coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the defendant in this case, Charles Perlman, arrived at the helipad escorted by authorities. Shockingly, despite the crimes he's being charged with, Perlman shows no signs of being worried. Hmm, fools. Real surprise is yet to come. I accept your request. I'll put the instructions in your suitcase for the day you board. Open it two hours after takeoff. Do what the instructions say, and someone will help you get out of New Eridu. Uh. Hey, where's my suit for court? Did the suitcase come? It's right here. Good, bring it over. 
What are you so smug about? It's about to hit the fan, Pearlman. Hit the fan? <laughs> Young lady, you've no idea how horrible this city can get. <laughs> Just you wait. Whatever tricks you have up your sleeve, I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. You guys finally made it. <sighs> I'm beat. Why is it so long? How come you look fine, Billy? <laughs> the respiratory module I swapped out a few days ago has an anaerobic mode installed. It boosts energy efficiency during workouts. Hmm? Oh no. I can't switch back to intake mode! Told you not to use that cheap off market junk. All right, cut it out. Does it really matter if Billy can't breathe? The air tip is small anyway, and the air quality isn't great. What's wrong, Andy? Something bothering you? I was just thinking. We left safe into a group of strangers from a housekeeping company. Is that really okay? Nikomata knew one of them, right? And besides, the ballet twins belong to their master, so the proxy shouldn't be in any danger. That's not it. I'm concerned once the proxy works with another squad, they'll notice a significant difference in the quality of service <laughs> and won't want to work with us again. But don't be silly, Andy. The cunning hairs are first class, I'll have you know. Besides, we have a relationship with Bacon. Those guys, they're completely new. Nothing to worry about. Uh, proxy, you dare? Did Lee and the others make it? Yeah, we made it. It's in the airship right now. We're about to take off soon. Well, I want to apologize. Really sorry for Oka today. I agreed to go look for Rain with you, but I ended up looking into someone else. Nicole, you're apologizing to me? What happened to you? What's wrong? Did you eat something weird? Quick, hand your phone to Nekomata. Get her to tell me how bad your food poisoning is. Oh no, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I suddenly realized we've known each other for so long. And although there have been some ups and downs, it has been a pleasure working with you. I'm only going to court. You're being so weird, Nicole. I'm only going to court, not prison. Are you really that nervous? No, not at all. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, I've been really grateful to you all. I'll definitely repay you when we get, when we get back. Lol, she's scared of using us as clients. Is that a word? Nicole just thanked us in the DM she just sent. It sounds a little strange to me. Is everything okay with her over in court? So, you see some babies flying in the sky? Let's wait for them to get back and ask. As for Nicole's promise to repay us, I'm not going to hold my breath. Well, Victoria Housekeeping just contacted us. They're saying they are ready to leave. From now on, we should also shift our focus back to ballet twins. Okay. Let's go in. Let's go in. Sending darts. Ooh, I only know how to use one of y'all. Master Proxy, since your friend was most likely on the rooftop of Tower B, perhaps that should be our first destination. Thank you, Hannah Monstan. Sounds good, Lycon. Thank you for your help. You are quite welcome. You are our most important guest, and your wish is our command. I do hope we can find Miss Rain soon, so you and your friends can rest easy. Dear Gun, would you be so kind as to look at this map with the ballet twins? On to the point of Victoria House. Clearly outlines the structures of the ballet twins and the rooftop to the rooftop of Tower B. Even Koran exchanged knowing glance, hoping that Lycon was the one who drew it. Lol, that's cute. As you can see, we are currently located at the entrance to Tower A. According to our tariff, we'll have to go through the central corridor between the two to get to the other building. Affirmative. The information provided by the agent is accurate. This should be your target location. 
Alright, everyone, let's head out. I'll lead the way, everyone. Let's go. We are at your command. Entry into Tower A of the Ballet Twins confirmed. This place still creeps me out, even though I've been here before. Based on our past experiences, let's start heading toward the lights. Let's get going, Master Proxy. These guys are here again. Uh, remain calm. Let's continue heading towards the lights. We're getting close, Master Proxy. The light's not the brightest, but it still drove them away. It's safe to proceed now. It ends. All right. What's up ahead? It appears we've reached the heart of Tower A. Pass through this door to enter the atrium. The area at the back used to be accessible only to VIPs. We should look around for the verification device to open the door. That's it. Is this the verification device? Why can't they just have one? Oh, this multiple things. The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. Try to keep our distance. Let's try to keep our distance. Try to keep our distance. Try to keep our distance. The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. That one then.
Okay, like, come on, how do I play you? I'm just gonna spam buttons. Anyone I know how to play is like you know? Oh, the sea light comes out. Like rich people enjoy making things complicated. Hmm, precisely why I find this job exhausting. It's them again. Bell, hang in there. We're getting close. Watch out, everyone! Master, security system access interface detected. Please wait. Connection at 30%. Synchronizing infrared camera view. Connection at 60%. Force starting camera flash. A camera flash? No wonder they disappeared. Ferry, speed it up. Your vision to the darkness. Connection at 100%. System takeover completed. I can see everything now since we have that infrared camera. Yay. Master, you can call this new feature night vision mode. In this mode, you can move your field of view via the camera. While you're moving, the camera flash can keep enemies at bay. You're a godsend, Fairy. Bell, try moving around. Sure is handy. Another door? Let's go investigate. A hazy shadow looms before. It seems like you can only use some clearly using night vision mode. Those emotions give off a distinct aura, unlike the other ones you ran into before. I'll observe it for a while. Is it trying to say something? Master Proxy, judging by this guest's body language, it has no ill intent. It wants to thank us for bringing peace to this area.
little shadow flicker as if responding to Lycon's words. If that's the case, so can I leave open the door? Can I leave this door over to you then? Looks like our judgment was correct. It's smooth sailing now. Loading night vision mode return program. Progress 99%. 100%. Loading complete. Let's return to EOS for now. We can reconnect anytime we need. Now status analog. The lock is not Now, yeah, okay. Try using night vision mode. are flickering again. Sufficient spear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Do have one more observation somewhere? Avoid damaging the facilities while eliminating the security. That's what it looks like. You and the others rest a bit while I calculate the next route. So is it just me, or have the lights been flickering a lot on our way over? Oh, it's happened a few times. Looks like the rumors might be true. Not 
supposed to say anything? Plaza's mission brief was so long, I didn't read it. So whatever. Rena's here anyway. If the proxy finds out anything, she'll take care of it. Take care of it? What's that mean? Take care of it? Uh, what's that mean? Ellen, Colin, keep talking like that and you're going to give people the wrong idea about Victoria House today. Dear guy, allow me to clarify. Are you familiar with the supernatural rumors regarding the ballet thing? I heard it before. I've heard it mentioned once or twice. The story goes like this. When the ballet twins' buildings were swallowed up by the hollow, a pair of famous dancers, two sisters, died here. Rumor has it that the sisters became the masters of the building and would warn visitors with flickering lights. Now, if those visitors still refuse to leave, the sisters cause a blackout and show up in the darkness to haunt us the souls of their visitors. It's an old story, but recently someone claimed to have experienced some similar phenomena in the building. A master believed letting the rumors spread would inevitably affect the value of the ballet twins. So we were commissioned to investigate the truth under the guise of maintaining the building. That's why you're here. So that's the real reason you're here. Originally, we believed the rumors to be the fabrications of troublemakers. But at the very least, it appears power outages do indeed occur. But a power outage could pose a problem. Tower B's atrium is fitted with automated fire-resistant partitions. Power failure causes them to instantly close. Since finding Miss Rain is our priority, to avoid having our route cut off, we should speed things up. Yeah, we are. But there it is. Some distance away. Will the lights here manage to last until then? A power outage would make this a huge pain. We better hurry. Oh no. The lights are. Hang in there. We'll reach the atrium soon. It's crazy night vision mode. Like the flickering's getting worse. We're in the final stretch now, Master Proxy. Master, please enable night vision mode to eliminate the enemies. Stat.
Okay, the launched. are flickering faster. Let's hurry, everyone. All right. right. You can rely on us to protect you. This way, please. One discussion board, did you just pick up news? Yeah, like that. Shit. Unfortunately, we are a step too late. The automated partition has completely closed. Oh no! We were so close to getting through! Corin, the Gnade Phoebe beheld our death. You didn't look so upset. Any ideas on how to open the door? Any bright ideas on how to open the door, gang? There might be a manual switch installed on the partition. One moment, please. Allow me to take a look. No need to bother, Una. It's pretty solid metal, but it shouldn't be a problem for me and Corin to make a hole. Is it really okay to bring stuff in here? Sounds easy enough. But isn't the building your employer's property? Is that really a good idea? Huh. I didn't expect you to be such a rule-abiding crofty. Master's concern was about the rumors. Besides, Who's gonna find out? Reminder, it would be prudent not to cause any structural damage. As the only structure connecting the two buildings, the atrium is in a highly unstable state due to the hollow. Any sizable blow could lead to localized structural changes. After some investigating, I have located a switch on the other side of the corridor. It appears we currently lack the means to get through. I suggest we withdraw and take some time to rest. Victoria Housekeeping will investigate the cause of the blackout, and we will surely find a way through.
possible power outage. I don't know why the power balloon's power is out. It can't be because they didn't pay the electric bill, could it? But after witnessing what happened to Belle and Victoria housekeeping, I suddenly started worrying about the power outage at home, so I paid my bill a month in advance. I can always count on you to say thank you, Perry. Victoria housekeeping handles things professionally and sent on their employer's property. They should be able to uncover some things. Perry has obtained lots of new data on the balloon's hollow and is currently analyzing it. That might be useful. Well, you should take a little break. Thank you, I will go and see. I'll be back in a minute. Perry is still compiling data from the hollow in the building. Let's rest a bit before Victoria Housekeeping contacts us. Oh. <clears throat> you should take a nap to recover your strength before Victoria Housekeeping contacts us. Lie down and doze off. Despite lying in bed, your head is filled with thoughts of ballet queens and women. What's up, Belle? Can't sleep. Looks like Todd is still awake. I can hear you tossing and turning from downstairs. So how's soundproofing really that bad? Who told you us to use the cheapest floorboards? No wonder, we were prepared to be gone for a long time. Relax, Belle. Just let Victoria House to be handle the ballet twins. They're the best agents we've ever worked with. Well, you need some rest too. There's too much new data on the building, causing the HDQ location to refuse to actually analyze us in. I'll make some adjustments. By the way, I've put some new video tips on the shelves. Check them out later if you're interested. But for now, let's just close our eyes and get some rest. I feel better after talking with you. That's good. I'll head back out since then. Good night. Mmm. The latest Eden story is available. Alright. Yeah, let's go do some commissions. I want to play the story, Asian story, like another time, so I can grab it all up in one stream. Another moment of relaxation.
I'm not seeing anything. Don't think surprise my mind. Let's see if it mostly surprises. Master, you have reached the first meeting zone. I think the final signal. Stel, uh, Ro Phaeton, Proxy, this is where I provide a birthday surprise for my partner. Fixing these lights should be a walk in the park for you. There's a 99.7% chance that the rest of the conversation was nothing to do with the information I've ended the call. Circuit maintenance complete. Would you like to turn on the lights at the current coordinates now? Turn on the fifth light. Lights to kill, fine, let's keep going. Second light and its fixing has been located. Please proceed with caution, Master. Holy crap. Looks like it seems like the kind of surprise spell works well with. Ooh. It's bad, bad, huh? Master, you have reached the second Eden zone. Turn on the second light. Alright, the lighting in here is fine. No, still no faulty devices. That really is your style. Final light and its fixing has been located. More highly dangerous unknown symbols are also affected. It's quite unique. Yes, infinite now. Thank you. The final meeting so yep, turn on the light. I got all the lights now, Bell. Let's get going. Sure, I'm gonna just clear all the lights. What do you think? Okay, I got my absolute best to make sure that this will be both a rare and wanted location. And I have even specially prepared this cake and the two shiny nimble bangs we caught last time. I could even use the completion time of your previous shots as a guarantee. This is definitely a perfect birthday surprise. I didn't see a cake. Right, a wonderful sight. What cake? I didn't see a cake. Ooh, perhaps you missed it. Maybe we just the camera a little. I want to see what kind of cake it is. Look at the cake. What the f? How was all the rain shadow and candles on the cake? Okay. Hmm, undo this. 
Hits. Wait, can I actually do the... Nah, I don't think I can. Alright. I feel a lot calmer now. Let's get some sleep right now and doze off. Close your eyes and you can hear the sound of Weiss typing on the keyboard downstairs. As always, Weiss is typing at such intensity and playing a musical instrument. Listening to the sound makes you feel reassured. I wonder how Victoria Housekeeping's investigation into the power outages at Valley Twins is going. I should talk to Weiss about it. Oh, it's an XD. Alright. Not that I've entered free play mode. Randomly has something up. Charlotte? Miss Manager, have you noticed anybody acting suspicious around here? If you do, please let me know about it. What's happening? I've been tracking a suspect and I've found some traces of him nearby. But this guy is a real chameleon though. I haven't been able to pin anyone down specifically. Since you are familiar with the residents on this street, perhaps would you help me keep an eye out and tell me if there are any suspicious people around you you haven't seen before? I see. Why me? Unfortunately, I'm not an undercover duty. If I start asking questions in the neighborhood so openly, it will tip off the suspect. If you see anybody suspicious, please don't act on your own. Just come back immediately and tell me. I will put out an APB to all nearby officers to set up a case and apprehend that guy. Interesting. I'll try that. Also, a valley twins. Eh, something. Starry, who are you? Ah, oh, come on, give me back my good fortune. What are you muttering there? My luck's been off lately. I've been working hard, living within my means, saving up every last denny I got. But I always have the most rotten luck and end up having to spend money everywhere. Unless my bank account just keeps shrinking. No matter which way I look at it, something just doesn't add up. Everyone hits a rough patch sometimes, right? No, this isn't just a rough patch, it's got to be that legendary golden bank you targeted. They say they're in the ballet twins buildings, but there's this golden bank who can control people's fortunes. Legend has it that previous owners of the ballet twins befriended it when they were young, and they promised to make this massive shiny statue of it out of gold once they made their fortune. And in turn, the golden bank who blessed them with booming business success, helping them build the grand towers, ballet twins. But as their business empire grew, the twin bosses started to dismiss their old problems with the golden bank that everything they achieved was thanks to their own hard work. Those two were so full of themselves that they ditched their promises completely. They even commissioned paintings and statues of other bangles while the golden bangle was left to languish in a corner, forgotten, unwanted, and ignored by everyone. Feeling betrayed, the golden bangle cast a vile curse, falling to topple the twins' business empire, and one night the ballet twins were swallowed up by a hollow, bankrupting the bosses instantly. Now, anyone bold enough to go near the ballet twins would have their fortune sucked away by the golden bangle. Sounds like a fairy tale. This is not just a fairy tale. My luck has literally been sucked dry by that bank. Ooh. What does their love life have to do with me, huh? Why does a golden bank wear to take away all of my good fortune? A couple of days ago, I was out walking at night when I saw this shiny golden bank who just standing there in the corner and started staring at me. I was terrified, stomping my feet and yelling at it to go away. Then gave me this withering look and ran back into the hollow. Ever since then, it's like the bank has been holding this grudge against me. Everything's been going wrong. I've lost my purse, just walking around, I invested in a stock and a tank, and I couldn't even pull a free bottle from the prize right at a convenience store. 
Isn't that all pretty normal though? No, that's not normal. I've never been so unlucky in my whole life. I've been spending pennies like crazy recently. My savings are almost all gone. Look at it. Anyway, there's no point in eating wishes. They say the golden bank will need fix on the feet. But if you send a few tough looking types of debt collectors to rough it up a bit, it's just like nice again. I've already hired some heavies from this really badass website to teach that bank a lesson. This time, the golden bank is going to give me back my good fortune. Okay. Six three. <clears throat> the woman stares at Howl. Hello? Hee hee, Howl. Ow, it's claws, tongues, and tail. I could watch it all day long. Hee hee. Looks like she's just one of Howl's fans. Sure, it's weird, but she doesn't seem like a bad person. Ah, ah, someone's following me. There's gotta be someone following me. Hey then, you need help? That must be my boss. He's always trying to catch me slacking off. All he wants is to send me back to work over time. I said I was going to see a client so I could leave the office for a little fresh air, but he seems to have followed me over to the street. I bet he's trying to rush me back to the office. Ah, this job's unbearable. I can't take it even for just one more day. He just looks like a poor overworked white collar worker. He shouldn't be a bad guy, right? So wait, I wanted to check something. Huh. Okay, so I can't talk with you yet. Wait. Oh, that's just cookie. Hmm, I've always felt like someone's been stalking my social media account and tracking my whereabouts. Looks like I need to dress down with my trip and stay out of the limelight. Who's following me? There's a girl at school who has a crush on me. She's been stalking my social media pages trying to create a chance encounter, but I have no interest in her whatsoever. <clears throat> hmm, I bet she's just done with my trip and wear something even more hillbilly. Yeah, the gotta get her to lose interest in me as soon as possible. Yes, seems like one of those guys who easily fall for their own narcissistic delusions, but not a bad guy. How was it? Any suspicious looking people around? No. Huh, that's weird. Don't tell me about bad intel. Oh, I've only to get more people. Gordon off the street and conduct a careful search for signs of that bad guy. Perhaps not. You don't have to do all that. Sure, if we do all that, it'll definitely cause trouble for good citizens like yourself. What's more, the precincts nearby don't have the manpower to handle it. Never mind, I just I'll just keep monitoring that guy on social media and keep an eye on his little thing. Anyway, thanks for your cooperation. Right, if you discover suspicious people in your neighborhood, please call public security immediately. Thank you, I'll try my best. Thank you so much. It's precisely because of such kind and enthusiastic citizens as yourself, King Erdu is becoming a safer place by the day. Officer Charlotte leaves the soul and goes on patrol. I'm sorry, manager, can we have a quick chat? I heard you talking to the public security officer just then. I just saw an officer coming out of your store muttering something like Phantom Thief. Hmm, don't tell me that Phantom Thief, the artist of the lock, is operating around here now. Have you got any clues? Phantom Thief's artist? Never heard of them. Goodness me, you've never heard of the artist of the lock? They're one of the top cat burglars in all of New Eric, with a specialty in grabbing all kinds of art. I has it that he puts a warning for, for every keeper he pulls, revealing to the public his next target, which often causes a massive frenzy around town. And then he steals that artwork from his under heavy security. 
Just two days ago, he sold that famous painting, The Gentleman with a Bangle. Apparently, it's worth millions. Oh my god, he's got good taste. Perhaps that painting isn't what he really wants. This phantom thief has to have some unknown reason for stealing it. As for what he's up to this time, I'm afraid nobody knows. I reckon that officer just there was probably just chasing that guy, eh? They must have been tipped off by someone they know. So, so are you the phantom thief in disguise? I read too much case clothes. Ooh. Ooh, I can contact. Nah, uh, I'll... <sighs> I'll do a bunch of side missions. Bad luck, bad luck. What gear coins over there? Okay, go back. Finally, someone took on my commission and gave the annoying man to a good thing. My wallet might be empty now, but it feels like my good fortune's already back, baby. How can you be so sure? I just bought a can of coffee from the convenience store and I bought another can for free. Looks like my luck has taken a turn for the better. Now I need to make some cash fast to recover from all the losses from the fall. Well, first I'll spend the rest of this month's salary on lottery tickets. Then I'll put some into savings while I invest the rest on the stock market with leverage. Huh? You got a chill, dude. Hehe, <laughs> don't you worry. It was that darn golden bank who drained all my luck and fortune and stopped me from making any money. But this time, as long as I work hard on investing, I should be able to strike it rich. Okay. Your money. Finished already? That was quick, and the client gave a great review too. Are you? Are you her? 
here? How about here? Hmm. Maybe it looks like you're not hurt. I'm glad. You don't need to worry about me. It's hard not to worry. There's nothing I can do when you're inside the hollows. All I can do is make sure that you land the best conditions out there. That's all. Let's keep working together then. Hmm, go ahead and get some rest now. There might be another big commission coming up soon. Actually, now that the time has changed, oh... How do I ignore them? I want to get the achievement for ignoring them. Right, I was trying to level them up. How much battery do I have now? Okay, 70 should be enough for Andy, oh, right? Standing by. Now wait. So is there any other commission I can do? I'll just play some games at the arcade then, and then I'll get the weeklies, and then I'll end the stream. Looking to relax after a busy day at work? You're at the right place.
No, it's stream. I'm gonna end my stream here. I'll try and hope I can later tonight for Genshin. See you all next time. We'll be later tonight. Bye.